Hi, in this video I will show how to use text to SQL app. Uh, this is my website, I will leave a link on this side in the description. To find app I will type text and I have all text app and I need this one, text to SQL. I will click on app page, click on download to start the loading process and wait until I will be downloaded. It will be downloaded from Google Drive uh, and it will take a couple seconds to download it's five uh, about five megabyte file it's very quick to download so i will click on archive double click on msi inside archive to start installation click on more info i'm getting the screen from windows because i'm not registered publisher with microsoft you can see publisher unknown i'll just click run anyway to start installation click on next next install Click on yes here and click on finish. And you can see app has been installed on my computer and I have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close this and this and double click on shortcut to launch app. Now uh, let me show you input file I want to convert. This is like called state list and it text file. First line contains a name of the fields I want to be in the table. Like, I want to create new table, name of the table will be name of the file, and uh, all columns in this table will be uh, from this first line. Then goes data, state name, state codes, and everything separated by tab, or could be separated by, um, by comma or any other uh, separator. So I will detect separator, and in my case, it's, um, it's a tab. So I want this file to be converted to SQL. Now I can close this and um, I launched app. Now conversion is three steps process. On first step, I'll have to select input file. I'll click here to, on this button to select input file. Go and find my state list. Here it is. And after it is selected, click on next step. Now, if first of all, the input file has column names, which is my case, I will leave this checked so it will be used as um, first column uh, data from cost first column will be used for column names if i don't have column names it's fine too uh app will use like column one column two column three uh, column names for this now also i have to select database type uh, because for different database sql will be different and if i want to add id field some for some database it's required let's add id field uh, it's nice to have like if I didn't specify specific, if um, some columns can be repeated so it's usually a good idea to add ID field. Now click on Microsoft SQL Server because I want Microsoft SQL Server SQL and click on next step. Here I can preview SQL created from my file so you can see it, it nicely it added um, uh, primary key and it uses it first row to get column names and then it insert so this is for creation data and the table and this is for inserting data into table and you can see from everything from alaska to wyoming is uh, in here and all columns nicely separated and i can save my sql file if i want to i have to specify name of the file and location this name is location so I just click save and you can see file has been saved and uh, now I can send this file to my um, DBA or run it or SQL and have all this data from text file imported into a SQL. So yeah, basically that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in comments. Thank you.